guys i got something on hush poppy abakari that is being discussed on social media right now and i still have something uh that i want to talk about uh, somebody talking about nigerians in canada their mentality and their mindsets and i think not only in canada even in nigeria most successful people they have this kind of uh, you know mentality and that is quite disturbing to an extent i have someone talking about when you start making money and paying bills this is what happens to you and you will find a time to appreciate others that is coming in from a particular young man who has paid uh, bills and gotten to understand a lot about some things and uh, i have something to talk about also because I've been talking about it. That is uh, Daniel Craig, uh, the James Bond actor, coming out to say, man, I'm not leaving any inheritance for my children. Rather, I'm going to empower them business-wise, um, you know, empower them with their talent, you know, improve them and the rest, and allow them to make a lot of money for themselves because he is not in tandem with this uh, inheritance, um, you know, issue. And uh, he said something about that, and we're going to be reading out to you guys. Before I dive in to talk about this, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time I upload my videos. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. And don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section below. <laughs> Making headline right now is Abakari and another youth. According to Sarah reporter, I said court dismisses application by Northern Group to stop arrest extradition of disgraced DCP, that is, um, you know, Deputy Commissioner of Police Abakari to US. And you will all understand that this guy got a lot of questions to answer in the hands of FBI as uh, Hush Puppy is being investigated. And then you need to also understand that Hush Puppy has pleaded guilty on uh, their plea bargain is going to make Hush Puppy to reveal a lot of things to FBI and he was indicted in that report and that is getting some people talking and when it came out he first of all came to like yes I will deny the whole story and try to deny the whole story but it became too hard that yes even the Nigerian police and the Nigerian people could not uh, save him and they decided to suspend him and is on suspension as the police investigative team uh, submitted a report recently he is considering voluntary resignation right now and the northern youth are coming out to say yes we want our own to remain as a police officer um even though he's corrupt he's a good office officer but you need to understand that yes whether you like it or not crime is crime no matter the person that committed the crime saying that yes this person should not be extradited or anything you are trying to travelize crime and that is not good and is very harmful to our society and is very disturbing to an extent that is something i notice over time what do you have to say about this put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further hush puppy is owning a, mu a movie to his uh, story that is uh, uh, the uh, the downfall of billionaire Gucci master and that movie is going to be co-produced by our own uh, Mo Abudu and um, she said something about that that she wants to get involved in the story of Hush Puppy because if you allow the foreigners to tell the story they will tell the story in their own favor just to disfavor nigerians and discredit nigerians and destroy our reputation more she getting involved is going to make a lot of things easier for nigerians that is what uh she actually said about the
the whole thing and i believe that yes that story is going to make the holy movie hollywood movies and it's going to make uh, the um bus offices across the globe yes i have this uh, serious post that came from odogu equipment you know it says something some nigerians in canada need deliverance from i suffer so you must suffer too syndrome it is not too late to change no need to be tightening everything to your chest there is no award for best in suffering or hardship that is coming in from uh, this uh, guy Odugu and you will understand that not only in Canada in most countries where you find Nigeria becoming a bit successful and even in our country they like you must suffer you know because we suffer before achieving this thing instead of them to make things easier they make it somehow a kind of um, you know bad for others to achieve and that is not a good mentality i think that is anti you know uh, godly that is something i believe about that that is not a godly mindset you know because you suffer to achieve something you want others to suffer the same that is um you know kind of the mind of a devil himself that is something i believe about the whole story right now this person has come out to express this i think based on the kind of experience and the encounters uh he you know had with uh, most people in canada that is why he is talking about this thing so far and uh, you will get to understand that not only in canada i've had similar experiences with some uncles with some aunties with some sisters brothers and that is the mindset i think that is a witchcraft in itself yes you know a reason or odira you know has actually come out to say when you start making money and paying bills you will realize that some of our parents sacrificed a lot for us when you do the maths you will conclude that some of them were doing miracles called it cause it's difficult to understand how they were able to give us the best with so little yes that is coming in from this person yes i kind of understand what he's trying to say because i've been there or uh, i'm there right now you know paying bees and rest with the little you're earning is not easy at all and this gives us a mind to appreciate our parents who were able to do that for us and who were able to like you know stay happy with us despite doing that most people are shying away from this kind of responsibility because of this kind of uh, you know kind of mindset and attitude of yes and not come this world comes so far but whether you like it or not it only gets better by it, by the day you know shine away from your responsibility shine away from pain bills automatically you are declaring to the universe that yes i cannot take care of myself all i need is somebody else to serve in that position and that is quite disturbing to understand and i kind of understand his point of argument because yes he has gotten involved with this whole thing before i dive off i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media and don't fail to drop your comment in the comment section below i still have a backup channel called fluid deep media backup i'll be posting the link below i want you guys to go and check it out so that you find a lot of interesting things on that channel also i love you guys